Ready? Go! The day begins with a short but intense training session. So that way you're honed in, you know what to do. Every year, rip currents claim more than 100 U.S. lives, but more than 30,000 are successfully rescued. Rip currents, they are a narrow, fast-moving channel of water moving away from the shore. Underwater, there's sort of a sand dune, and the water goes over the sand dune, and as the water comes back out, it hits the sand dune, it can't go through it finds a break in this underwater sand dune, and that is where that rip current forms. Rips can be obvious from above, but hard to see from the beach. First, look for calmer areas between breaking waves. It looks darker and can be smooth, and a lot of people are attracted to that because if they're not experienced, they don't want to get beat up by the white crashing waves, and so they gravitate towards rip currents because it actually looks safer. Clue number two, a scalloped shoreline. Rips often form in the middle, so swim near the points. Very few people can swim against the strength of a strong rip current. If you're caught in a rip, don't fight it. Float to conserve energy. Let the water suck you away from the beach. Go down the beach just maybe 20, 30 yards and swim in. If you see where the waves are, that's where you want to swim into. Our main goal is to not have to do rescues. Uh, our main purpose out here is to prevent, to educate the public on the conditions. The key to safe beach going are the warning flags. We've got double red flags, single red flags, yellow flags, greens, and the purple. The double one is what you really have to be concerned about because that is not just a danger, but it's also illegal to go in the water. So you can have a strong rip without much wave action. So when you look at this beach, you're like, man, it is gorgeous, we're good. That's not always true, it's deadly. So we put red double reds up, we know what we're talking about. Learn this simple flag system. Remember, yellow means moderate risk, not zero risk swim near lifeguard stations, and use flotation devices, especially with children. With a little knowledge and awareness, you really can break the grip of the rip.